The stark reality we're facing is nothing short of a waking nightmare. A scenario ripped straight from the darkest chapters of a dystopian novel. Yet, this is no fiction. The report from Scientific American is a brutal wake-up call, a siren blaring across the United States, signaling an impending nuclear catastrophe that could leave 9 out of 10 Americans dead. This is the chilling truth we're staring at, a truth that demands our undivided attention. Let's cut through the noise and face the brutal facts. The United States, with its sprawling network of ICBM launch facilities, is a ticking time bomb. These sites, strategically placed across Colorado, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota, and Wyoming, are not just potential ground zeros for nuclear strikes. They're the epicenters of a potential mass extinction event on American soil. The enemy's strategy is clear as day. Obliterate these sites and the fallout will do the rest. And what a fallout it would be. We're not talking about a localized disaster or a temporary setback. We're talking about a nation brought to its knees, a landmass turned into a radioactive wasteland. The winds, those silent carriers of death, would spread this toxic legacy far and wide, reaching corners of the country that once thought themselves safe. This is not fear-mongering, it's a cold, hard projection of our potential future. The map from the study isn't just a piece of academic exercise, it's a grim prophecy of what could be. It shows a nation blanketed in lethal doses of radiation, a silent killer that respects no boundaries, be they state lines or socioeconomic divides. This is a disaster that would touch every American, a shared tragedy on an unimaginable scale. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. And then there's the Deagle Report, that ominous forecast that aligns disturbingly well with these new findings. The report's prediction of a drastically reduced U.S. population by 2025 suddenly takes on a new, more sinister meaning. Are these numbers a mere coincidence, or are they a premonition of a planned cataclysm? The thought alone is enough to send shivers down the spine. The idea that there could be forces at play, pushing us towards a nuclear showdown with Russia, is not just plausible. It's a scenario that seems to be unfolding right before our eyes. The implications are staggering. This isn't just a geopolitical chess game, it's a gamble with the lives of millions, a reckless flirtation with the end of America as we know it. The scenario laid out is stark. A full-scale nuclear attack on the United States, leading to widespread radioactive fallout. This isn't a localized disaster confined to the immediate vicinity of the silos. The fallout from such an attack would spread across the entire country, from the East Coast to the West Coast, leaving no corner of America untouched. The aftermath? A staggering 90% of the U.S. population wiped out. A loss of life so immense it's almost impossible to comprehend. This chilling forecast aligns eerily with the Deagle Report's 2025 population predictions for the United States. The report, sourced from the highest echelons of global intelligence and defense, including the U.S. government, the Department of Defense, the CIA, and the World Bank, forecasts a drastic reduction in America's population. The numbers are stark, a population decreased to between 54 million and 100 million people. This isn't a fringe theory. It's a projection grounded in extensive research and analysis. But who would benefit from such a catastrophic reduction in population? The answer lies with those who have long been pushing for a global government. Those who believe the world should sustain a much smaller population. Their vision, as inscribed on the Georgia Guidestones and articulated by author Leo Homan, is a world with a drastically reduced population. This isn't just a policy, it's an agenda with potentially devastating consequences. 
Homan's analysis is a sobering reminder of the stakes at play. The globalist policies of the past few years, he argues, are all converging towards one goal, mass de- This is a difficult truth to face, but ignoring it could be perilous. The impact of these policies is already evident. Lives lost, health compromised, and a general sense of uncertainty about the future. The Deagle Report's forecast, once dismissed by some as alarmist, now seems ominously prescient. The report's removal from the website only adds to the urgency of the matter. The forecasted population reductions for Western nations are nothing short of staggering. The United States, Canada, the UK, Germany, Australia and other European countries are all marked as high-risk areas for the coming years. In facing the grim reality of a potential nuclear fallout, it's crucial to focus on survival strategies. The advice from medical experts, as reported in a Daily Mail story, is clear. The more barriers between you and the blast, the better. This means that simple actions like being indoors, especially underground, wearing more clothes, and seeking shelter in lid-structured buildings, can significantly increase your chances of survival. The importance of these measures cannot be overstated. Ordinary clothing can protect against alpha and beta radiation, while lead shelters are particularly effective against the more dangerous gamma radiation, especially crucial in the first 24 hours following a blast. In a situation where a lead-lined shelter isn't available, even a single piece of lead can be invaluable. Medical expert Bakri suggests using it to shield the pelvis, an area rich in bone marrow, vital for regenerating healthy cells post-exposure. Immediately after a blast, removing contaminated clothing and thoroughly washing to reduce radiation exposure is essential. These practical steps, while simple, can be the difference between life and death in the event of a nuclear catastrophe. In conclusion, while the prospect of a nuclear fallout is daunting, understanding and implementing these survival strategies can significantly increase the chances of enduring such a devastating event. The key lies in preparedness and taking actionable steps towards ensuring safety in the face of potential danger. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.